some very sleepy leopards with very full bellies. Now since Karula's been showing us her cubs, we actually haven't stopped to really appreciate, well I feel like I haven't really stopped to appreciate what an extraordinary animal she truly is. Now this leopard female probably has one of the highest success rates of any leopards most of the guides have encountered in terms of raising cubs to adulthood. Now, a typical leopardess has all kinds of struggles facing her and there's a sort of standard mortality rate of about 70% of leopard cubs that do not make it beyond one years old. And yet somehow Karula has defied the odds and at 12 years old she's done the most extraordinary job. At the moment she has two very healthy little babies. And if we have a look at our little princess up in the tree, she is currently devouring the Dacre with great enthusiasm and an appetite befitting a little leopard cub that is well on its way to growing up. She's managed to reposition, can you believe it, she's repositioned that whole carcass to get to the part of the meat that she wants. And the jaw not yet quite strong enough to crunch its way through. But nevertheless, making short work of whatever she can find. <laughs> There's something so cute about that. Yes, you're going to move it. Just be careful. You, you and the carcass could go tumbling out of the tree. And five months old already with the established spot patterns that she will have for the rest of her life. The spots will never change and each and every leopard has their own unique fingerprint-like spot pattern. And I think she's got a W on her forehead. Her mom has the word wow in, written in her spots. I think the little female has a W. And <laughs> moving it about. Now, Kim Kim, just on the subject of spots, you were wondering if there's ever been a leopard that was born without spots. And the closest answer to yes would probably be, oh, you're so strong. Look at that. Feet all spread out, claws right out. Sorry, Kim Kim. I'll be back with you in a moment, but I'm just watching her reposition. I'm actually... It really is fascinating how incredibly powerful they are, even at five months of age. That carcass probably weighs what she does, and she's just been hoisting it around. So Kim Kim, a leopard that is melanistic, in other words, has a very high concentration of melanin, is born black. However, most of them you can sort of see the spots coming through underneath the blackness of the coat. So it's not really born without spots but they do have very, very high concentrations of melanin. So yes, in that sense, you would get a leopard born without spots. And that's probably the only case. You get leucistic leopards or strawberry-colored leopards, but they do have spots. They're just a little bit lighter in color than the others. Oh, and while we've been busy watching his sister, George has decided to roll over Give us, George, um, now I'm using James's names, which is a dangerous habit to fall into because when they do get their official names, it's going to be a very difficult one to break. But the sleeping prince has rolled over to give us a perfect view of his spotted white belly that looks as though he's swallowed quite possibly some sort of small ball. He is so round. <laughs> and I'm not sure there is a leopard cub in the world that looks more contented than he does at this point. Yes, have a jolly good sleep, little one. You've got so much growing to do still. It's hard to believe these are the same little cubs that, as soon as they saw the vehicle coming, would dash away, and only when their mom called them out would they come slinking out of the grass to come and join her. Now he doesn't look as though he could be, or that he is in any way stressed out by the presence of the vehicle. And that's, it's the, the sort of the constant ethical guiding in the Sabi sand, which is why we're so lucky to be here 
and why it is so famous for the opportunities to view these animals behaving as they naturally would. Well, it seems as though James is on an antelope roll and he's found a different but equally fluffy one.